Mum wanted an umbrella, so we Kapika, got an umbrella for her. Opening the wallet actually encouraged 500 people to come and try to stuff. But I've got the umbrella, so I'm just blocking out everyone as they try to ask me things. The tip to actually buying things in India is giving them the money first. 800 rupees, and he's like, no, we don't want it. And he kept putting the price down, and my dad was like, 200, 200 rupees, no? So my dad pulled out 400 rupees, put it in his hand, and took the umbrella. Once the people have the money in their hand, they actually don't actually want to give it back, so they will take whatever you pretty much give them. Mum is a Maharaja. <laughs> I don't know why she's a Maharani, but Dad bought her a Maharani hat, so she's got her little turban thing going on. We bought stuff we didn't really want. Good day for us. <laughs> Parents are overtaking us on the elephant. They've got the speed elephant and we go and see you at the top. feeling in my stomach as we're going up so I don't know I probably won't be doing another elephant ride ever again because I just feel so bad for them um, but it is good to know that they're only allowed to do five trips every day as soon as we stepped off and you pretty much see I'm a white person with a turban walking around there are 500,000 million people trying to sell us stuff which is good it's always good <laughs> Maharaja lived in times of peace, but during war times he would go up to the Jagra Palace, which is right above the Amber Fort, and that was more defenseful, to where his army would stay during the time that it was peacetime.
note that dad has Noelle's most inappropriate shirt and he's wearing it in India, which is good to see. Let's give you a bit of close up there. This is probably the most inappropriate thing you're going to see today. Maharaj decided he wanted to move from the Amber Fort to the middle of town, that way he could be among the hustle and bustle and he didn't have to have all his water carried up 24-7 from the reservoir at the bottom. So there's some little shops in here. I have purchased myself a pair of pants. As you can tell, I've got sunglasses on. That's because I have the worst headache and opening my eyes right now is giving me a brain aneurysm, not a brain aneurysm, causing me severe stress. So just having it closed makes everything a bit easier. And no matter where I walk around in India, taking any videos of myself, talking to the camera, is a cause of stress. So I'm just here, trying to smile at the camera while there is like 30 people standing around me looking at me. So hot, girl. from the Gangajali. These are the largest silver objects made in the entire world. They're actually made out of 14,000 silver coins that were used as money back in the 1840s. Quiet night at home, might play some banana grams, a bit of phase 10, 
And then I'm gonna sleep, sleep again tomorrow because we've been up very early for like the last couple of days. We're gonna do a bit of shopping and then we're gonna hit the monkey temple in the afternoon. Make sure you stay tuned because I spent like 550 rupees on desserts to try for you guys so you can see my reaction to trying Indian things. I have no idea what I ordered, like something to do. But most of them I was like, I want a banana dip dip pewa. Well, it's bright yellow. I'm not sure if I really want to eat it, but we'll try. Anyway, if you like this video, then leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment below telling me what you think. And don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos every single day. And I'd love if you could stay tuned on this Indian adventure of a life.